risks, you know. It's a matter of going back to our uh, our basics and knowing what our basics are. It comes with, of course, uh, experience. It is what it is. It is what it is. What it is. You get home from a tough day at work, and it was a grind. And you think to yourself, oh, well, the Knicks are on tonight. So you get your shower, you order your food, your food arrives, and you got the Knicks game on. Why you eating? You're an NBA nut like me. You have league pass. So you're thinking to yourself on commercials, who else is playing tonight? I see Rockets and Spurs. I say, you know what? That's interesting. I've already seen the Rockets play two or three times. I've seen the Spurs play already. And I want to see how that game goes. So I have the game on, and I see the Rockets playing, and I see the Spurs, and the Spurs brand of basketball is absolute garbage. The way they defend, the way their wings, their wings are the most unskilled group of wings in the NBA. When Chris Paul's out of the game, they have Stephon Castle at the one. That is a mistake. He's not a one. He's a two. I seen him play at UConn, he is a two. So when Chris Paul's not in the game, they have no direction on offense. When Bayama is constantly on the perimeter, they beg him to get in the paint. They run screen and rolls with Chris Paul and, and Victor Wembanyama, and he stays on the perimeter. It's basically a pick and pop, but more than likely, he's screening to get the switch. So Chris Paul can be on the big and he can be on the small. But he doesn't really screen. Just watch Victor. I want anybody, whoever has league pass, because they're not on national TV all that often. Just watch Victor Wimayama play. On defense, on offense, on the transition. Watch him run the floor. He is so lazy. 20-year-old, so lazy, tired. First four or five minutes of the game, already grabbing his shorts. Victor's out of shape, y'all. Watching Harrison Barnes miss open shot after open shot. Watching pocket passes get dropped. Watching bigs miss shots at the, at the rim. The Spurs are bad. Now, I'm not saying they can't get better, but with Popovich as your coach, and I know Pop is out right now, but the coaching staff is there. It's the same system. With Popovich as your coach, to see them so, to see offensive sets that are trash. They look just like any other NBA team trying to get three-point shots up. Screening for threes. That's not a system. They have a trans... What many pundits will believe to be a transcendent big. Where is his sets where he's just in the post? Where are the sets to have him flash towards the free throw line? So he gets easier shots. 15 feet and in. It's bad basketball. You have poor three-point shooters shooting threes with green lights. With Chris Paul, he needs a big that can roll to the bucket or a big that's willing to pop from 15 feet. That's not Victor. If you just watch Victor play, he stays on the perimeter. You can tell the, the, the nature and the mindset of the player if you just watch them play just them and not look at the other four players on the court. He naturally wants to play like Kevin Durant. He doesn't have Kevin Durant's feet. And they compare him to Ralph Sampson because of his size. He is not Ralph Sampson. He has, his feet are way too slow. He's not athletic enough. He doesn't have his vertical. But if you put him in the paint, he's shooting 59%. He can average 24, 25, 26 a game. And with better possessions for the team, getting the other team's bigs in foul trouble. The Spurs are the perfect example of how bad the NBA has been in terms of every team copying the Warriors, not understanding that the Warriors get twos too. 